AppRite provides many different authentication methods to fit the needs of developers. AppRite manages authentication with a combination of accounts and sessions. Accounts can be created in many different ways, such as through an anonymous session, email and password, OAuth authentication, magic URLs, and much more. AppRite has APIs for front-end client applications called the Account API. For back-end server applications, we have the Users API. For this video, we'll focus on the Account API. In order to best understand accounts within AppRite, let's walk through the console. Here I'm in the Demos for React organization. I'm going to then open the project by the same name. Now navigating to the Auth page, we'll take a look at the settings within Auth. Here you can see built into AppRite itself are many authentication methods. You can also further extend the authentication by using OAuth to providers. Here are many of the popular solutions that are out there today. Here we have our React authentication example. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and walk through this. As you can see, it successfully created the account and here's my new ID. Let's confirm that inside the console. Again, navigating to auth in the users pane, we'll now see that there is alex at appright.io. That user ID that we saw can be copied right here. If I paste it in the browser window, you'll see that number. It matches. Now that we've successfully signed up, we can log in. As you can see, it says successfully logged in from Mac. Now you can see the application routes back to the main homepage and you can see it's logged in as alex at appright.io. Now let's take a look at some of the code that runs this application. The very first thing that we had to do in the application was to sign up. Looking at the sign up page, we can see that it's just a simple form. We handle the submit of the form, couple basic checks. We then register using email and password. In that register, we call account.create, pass in unique for a unique identifier so we don't have to create our own ID. This happens on the server side. And then we pass in the email and password. As long as that's successful, we then pop up the alert that the account was successfully created showing the ID. When you hit the home page, the first thing that happens is it checks to see if the user exists. So it calls get user data from a utility file. You can see here that in this utility file, we are importing AppRite. The first thing that we do with the get user data is call new account. This comes from the package AppRite. Account just gets the information for that user. When we try to log in for the first time, it can't find that account data, so it pushes us over or navigates to the login. Within the login file, you can see down here the form that is used. It takes both the email and the password in, and then on submit, we do a couple different checks, nothing major, and then lastly, we log in with that email and password. The login from our account is actually called account.createEmailSession. So for our instance, we can then pass back that session when we log in. Once that's done, if it's successful, you'll navigate away from the page back to the home page. This time when the home page loads and we get the user data, the account will come back successfully. We'll set that user within React and it will automatically update to show user.email. 